What's up, live fans? Welcome back to the channel. This is Crucial right back here, and today I've got an NBA Live 16 wish list video for you. Now, before I get started, I do want to say make sure to hit that like button to support the channel and comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this video and what you think needs to be added in to NBA Live 16. Also, subscribe for more videos, whether it be the NBA Live wish list videos or some other gameplay for some other games. Also, let me know in the comment section down below what you would like to see on the channel, but let's go ahead and dig into it. One thing that was definitely missing in NBA Live 15 that was introduced in the 14 is the manual bounce pass. For a lot of sim heads, that's part of the reason why we've slowly moved away from playing NBA Live and started playing other things. I know there's a lot of people in the community that do feel the same way. So, the bounce pass needs to come back in, yes, but what needs to happen is EA needs to introduce different control schemes for NBA Live 16. Whether it be the old control scheme of a different button for dunking and layups and then a shooting button, whether that was X and B on the original Xbox or what have you, or NBA Elite's control scheme where the right stick was used for the shooting and the dribbling and it just felt so natural compared to just these different button presses of today but let me know in the comment section down below what you think if they need to bring in different control schemes for NBA Live 16 make sure to hit that like button to support the channel subscribe for more videos and I will see you all soon